Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can switch your house based on presence in Home Assistant. For instance, if people enter the house, the lights go on and the heating is going up. And if people leave the house, the lights go off and the heating is going down again. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. Let's go! Hi! Wouldn't it be nice if your house switches based on your presence in the house or when you go away? So for instance, if you go into the house, the heating is going up and the lights are going on. And if you leave the house, the heating is going down and the lights are going off again. There are some use cases for this and I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's quite easy, but uh, some people do it quite difficult and it is actually not that difficult. So let me first show you some use cases here. Now, we are starting with an empty house. Nobody is home, lights are turned off and the heating is low. Now the first person enters the house. He arrives and he wants the lights in the living room to turn on automatically and that the heating also turns on automatically. Now the other people are arriving home and in this case we want the lights in the child's bedroom to turn on also. And now one person is leaving the house. In this case, we don't want to do anything because if one person leaves the house, you want to keep the heating up and you want to keep the lights on. But if the other people also leave the house, then you want to turn off the lights and turn down the heating. Now I'm going to show you in Home Assistant how to set up these use cases. First, we have to make sure that Home Assistant knows that you are in your house. There are several ways to do this, but the easiest way is to use the Home Assistant companion app, which is installed on your phone to control Home Assistant. As soon as you are in your house, Home Assistant detects that you are in the local network and then knows that you are in your house. If you have the Home Assistant companion app installed on your phone, you will see device trackers in Home Assistant. So for instance, if I go to, let's say, configuration, and devices and services and I go to entities I can search for device underscore tracker and then I see device trackers here I let's sort them on integration so I see device trackers based on the mobile app and these are all phones and an iPad so that is how it works with the companion app so you see the device trackers and you can see who is home and who is not home. There's also other ways to do it. As you can see, I have a TP-Link Deco router in my uh, network and that router also detects if I'm home based on that my phone is connected to that router. So there are different ways to do that, but the easy way for you guys is to first start with the Home Assistant companion app. Now, there are several ways to see what the status of a device tracker is. You can click on the device trackers here, but I want to show you a different way and I want to show you how it works in the developer tools. So let's go to the developer tools and then we go to states and then click on set state and I can search for an entity here which is a device tracker. So for instance, device underscore tracker dot, let's say iPhone. I have my own uh, iPhone device tracker that is this one or this one or this one. There are three different ways of finding them in my case, but let's choose this one. And what you can see is that the state is home for my device tracker. So my phone is home. I can also find another device tracker. So let's go to the device underscore tracker dot iPhone. For instance, the device tracker of my daughter, which is this one. And if I click on this one, you see that the state is not home. Now, based on these states, we can do different things in Home Assistant. The next step is that I'm going to explain you how groups work in Home Assistant, because we are going to make a group which will show if somebody is home or not. For that, you need uh, either the Studio Code server or the file editor. And if you don't have it installed, install it first. Uh, you can do it by going to configuration, then add-ons, backups, and supervisor. And then here you can go to the add-on store and you can select the file editor, for instance, or Studio Code server and install it here. 
So if you did that, come back. And now we are going to, in my case, Studio Code Server. And what I'm seeing here is all the files that you have in Home Assistant on your server. In this case, we only need two files that we want to edit. And the first file is the configuration.yaml file. That is this one. And what we are going to do, and I think it's default setup, but let's check it anyway. You will have to check if you have this line in your configuration.yaml. So group, colon, exclamation mark, includes groups.yaml. What this line does is actually pointing to another file on your home assistant server, which is called groups.yaml. That other file is also here, and I open it. And in that file, we are going to add groups for the device trackers. In this example, I already created two groups. So I created one group, which is called somebody underscore home, and another group, which is called everybody underscore home. I don't really need this group, but I wanted to show it because it makes things maybe a little bit more clear. What happens here is I gave the group a name, somebody underscore home, which means that this will be a new entity in Home Assistant. The name is somebody is home. And the entities that are part of this group are the device trackers, in this case for me, for my girlfriend, for my son, and for my daughter. And now the important part comes for this group. There is this option, all is either false or is true. The group entity somebody home can have a value home or not home. And when all is set to false, it means that if one of these entities is home, the whole group will turn to the state home. If the all option is true, then it means that all these entities have to have the value home to give the group the state home. So that is the difference. If all is set to false, then this group will turn to home if one of the people come home. If all is set to true, then this group will get the status home if all of the people are home. But you don't really need this one. You can just use this one, and I will use this one also in the examples. After you created these groups in the groups.yaml, you have to reload the groups.yaml in Home Assistant. For that, we go to configuration, we go to settings, and you scroll down, and there is this option, YAML config reloading, groups, group entities, and notify services. So I'm going to click this, and now it's reloading the groups, which means that the groups are now available in Home Assistant. So let's go to the next step. Now we loaded the groups in Home Assistant, we are going to check the state of those groups. So we are going to Developer Tools, I'm going to click Set State, and I'm going to enter somebody. And you see the group is now known as somebody is home. And if I click on this group, you see the entity IDs who are part of this group. So my phone, the phone of my girlfriend, the phone of my son, and the phone of my daughter. And you see that the total state is home because my girlfriend and I are at home, but my daughter and son are not at home. I also created the other group, everybody's home, to show you how that works. So let's see what the value is for everybody is home. So the group everybody is home. And the state of this entity is that it's not home because we said all the entities should be home to give this group also the state home. And because of the fact that I am only home and my girlfriend is only home, it will give the state not home. So it works. We can see now if somebody is at home or if nobody is at home. Let's go to the next step. So the next step would be to create the automations that act upon the states of the group. So for that, we go to configuration, automations and scenes, and I'm going to create an automation. I'm going to start with an empty automation and I'm giving the automation a name. Let's say 
presence first person arrives home um, so now we are going to check if the first person arrives home and for that we are going to check a state so we go to state under triggers and somebody is home is the group that we want to check and what we want to do is the somebody is home has the value not home if nobody is home so it was not home and it turns into home if somebody comes home and in that case we want to add an action and we want to turn on the lights in the living room and for me that's a light group if you don't know how light groups work go to the video about light groups and then you will be fine um, because it's a light group and it's not a device i'm going to call a service and the service is called light dot turn on and i'm going to say the entity is living room so it will turn on the living room when somebody comes home and let's say that i also want to turn on the heating so i'm going to add another action in this case i'm going to call another service and the service is climate let's say set temperature so i choose the climate living room and i'm going to say the target temperature will be 20 degrees celsius in our case let's save this one and now the automation is saved so what basically happens is as soon as somebody comes home so the status is from not home to home turn on the living room lights and set the heating of the living room to 20 degrees so that was the first use case now we go to the second use case that is that the other people arrive home so i'm going to create another automation start with empty automation mm -hmm. presence others arrive home what we want is that the lights on the child's bedroom is going on when everybody comes home in fact we can also check only if the child comes home and then turn on that light but um, let's do it like this so i'm going to triggers and i'm going for a state trigger again and in this case i'm not going to check for is somebody home but is everybody home and i also created a group for that so everybody is home and that will only turn to the value home if all the device triggers are in the house so again in this case the value should go from not home to home and then we can call a service light dot turn on and we turn on the light on the child's bedroom in this case the bedroom of my son um, and if we save this then the light on the bedroom of my son will turn on as soon as everybody is in the house it is an example normally i think in this case what you should do is not check on if everybody's home but if my son is home so that would be in this case device underscore tracker dot oppo because he has an oppo phone and then you can say is it from not home to home and now we are only checking on his phone so that's the difference between checking on everybody or checking on a single person let's go to the next use case so the next use case is that if everybody leaves home we turn off the light and we turn down the heating again 
So let's create this, create automation, start with empty, new automation, presence, everybody leaves home. And now we are going to check on the state of this is somebody home again. So we're going to state and we are going to say the entity is somebody is home. And then we should say it is going from home to not home. Because if everybody left the house, this entity, this group, somebody is home, will get the status not home. And in that case, we are going to actions. We are going to call a service again. And the service is in this case light dot turn off. I'm going to choose the entity again for the living room. And we are going to add another action, also a service. The service is called climate dot, let's say, set temperature. We are also going to check for the living room here again, and we are going to set the temperature to, let's say, 15 degrees. Save it. So if everybody leaves the home, then the group entity, somebody is home, turns from home to not home, and the light turns off and the temperature turns off. And that's basically everything that you have to do to get this to work. You can make it much more advanced with all kinds of different things that you want to switch in your house. But yeah, it, uh, it really helps if you forget uh, to turn off the lights, then this will save your day. I hope this video helped you. If so, please give it a thumbs up, give me a comment, subscribe to my channel, click the little bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.